Okay, vlog episode two, probably. Um, today I'm I'm at day two of my job. Um, I just started as a digital marketing account executive. Um, it's a completely remote work from home position, which is really cool. Um, the thing that I like the most about it is that it gives me the ability to build up my business at the same time and also finish up my schooling. I'm a senior at the university, um, so I have also have a cat that's super hella annoying. Um, but I wanted to show you guys kind of what I was working on for the business. I go pick up groceries and this is my SEO services. So um, I'm a big fan of doing everything on paper first. Uh, this originally started actually as just a bunch of notes about what I might offer for SEO services, right? And so I had all these lists and everything and then I brought this up with a partner which I cannot tell you guys how it is to workshop your ideas with multiple people if you're a business owner. Um, so I originally went through and I wrote down all of these different SEO services um, by myself and then I went over to my wife and I said, okay, you know nothing about SEO, you know nothing about marketing, you know nothing about my business, but she's my business manager. She's there to help keep me on the right track because at the end of the day, I need somebody to help me stay organized and she is the most organized person I've ever met in my life. So I went over these with her and we talked about them and we got to the point where we felt comfortable bringing in a third party to tell us if these services were even valuable, if they were worth going over. Um, and then in that call, so this is a partner that I work with. I do kind of the web development stuff for their WordPress website. Um, if you're interested, check out my website, metapv.co. Um, but <clears throat> we kind of just went over each of those packages and really just workshopped the idea from a partner perspective of, okay, if you were to whitelist my services, what would you want those to look like so that you can communicate them to your clients, right? Because um, I already kind of know what I want to communicate to my clients about what my services look like and what I offer um, after I've you know, built and designed them a marketing focused website, right? What does that look like? Um, but what does that look like afterwards, right? What, after we've built the website, what comes next, right? I get that question a lot. So, um, and then after I got all the notes from <laughs> my partner and we talked about, hey, what are the things that we're going to do? Um, what would that look like? What would our relationship as a partnership look like? What's the best practice for that? After all that was said and done, we um, finished for the day and talked about a few other web design things because I'm helping them with a, a couple websites. And from there, boom, I have my SEO services. So I'm actually breaking my own rules here where I'm actually only offering two SEO services, a startup and a standard. Um, three options, um, because in the marketing business, if you have a middle of the road option, it can either segue people into picking something, um, picking one of the two services. So Apple does this with their iPhones. They do the, it with the MacBooks. Um, it's actually kind of my biggest book pro that I bought is that it comes with uh, a shitty amount of storage, just an absolute shitty amount of storage. <laughs> it's terrible. Right. Um, and it's the, the base metal MacBook pro is supposed to get you to pay just a little bit more for the next one. Right. And Apple does a really good job of this with their phones as well, where the cheapest model barely has enough storage or it barely has enough RAM or it barely has enough X um, to where most people probably could get away with buying it, but most people are going to want to just spend another $100 or so for more storage. Um, and if you're paying that much more, then you might as well upgrade to the Pro. Because the Pro is the same price, but oh, would you look at that? The Pro is now, you know, the smaller storage size, so maybe you should upgrade just a little bit, right? They offer these natural upgrade paths. I'm not doing that with my SEO services. Uh, I probably should be 
where I offer like a, a base, okay, here's my startup package, here's my standard package that most people should do, and then here's my pro package. Um, the reason I'm not doing that yet is because I know I'm good at SEO services. Um, I've got clients that know that I'm good at SEO services, um, but I'm just starting out, right? So this is a brand new business, brand new, brand new thing that I'm doing. Um, and I want to really master the basics before I start expanding to other things, right? So, um, I can kind of go over my pricing model and everything for SEO services, but uh, <laughs> uh, just reach out to me at my email if you guys are even remotely interested in that, because I know that that's not interesting. So, um, it is time to go get groceries. I'm going to do it.